Job 22. Then Eliphaz the Temanite replied, Can a man be of benefit to God? Can even a wise man benefit him? What pleasure would it give the Almighty if you were righteous? What would he gain if your ways were blameless? Is it for your piety that he rebukes you and brings charges against you? Is not your wickedness great? Are not your sins endless? You demand security from your brothers for no reason. You must have. You stripped men of their clothing, leaving them naked. You gave no water to the weary. You withheld food from the hungry. Though you were a powerful man, owning land, an honored man living in it, you sent widows away empty-handed and broke the strength of the fatherless. That is why snares are all around you, why sudden peril terrifies you, why it is so dark you cannot see, and why a flood of water covers you. Is not God in the heights of heaven? And see how lofty are the highest stars? Yet you say, what does God know? Does he judge through such darkness? Thick clouds veil him, so he does not see us. As he goes about in the vaulted heavens, will you keep to the old path that evil men have trod? They were carried off before their time, their foundations washed away by a flood. They said to God, leave us alone. What can the Almighty do to us? Yet it was he who filled their houses with good things. So I stand aloof from the counsel of the wicked. The righteous see their ruin and rejoice. The innocent mock them, saying, Surely our foes are destroyed, and fire devours their wealth. Submit to God and be at peace with him. In this way prosperity will come to you. Accept instruction from his mouth, and lay up his words in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you will be restored if you remove wickedness far from your tent and assign your nuggets to the dust, your gold of Ophir to the rocks in the ravines. Then the Almighty will be your gold, the choicest silver for you. Surely, then you will find delight in the Almighty and will lift up your face to God. You will pray to Him, and He will hear you, and you will fulfill your vows. What you decide, what you decide on will be done, and light will shine on your ways. When men are brought low and you say, lift them up, then he will save the downcast. He will deliver even one who is not innocent, who will be delivered through the cleanness of your hands.